should have gave a warning pre-vlog or pre-start of the vlog that I'm going to absolutely nerd up. back to the vlog. Today we're at the last bookstore. I'm excited. Uh, I love books a lot. The last bookstore is like a hundred year old bookstore in Los Angeles and after a month and a half finally deciding to visit it. A few moments later. <sighs> oh my god. Yo they have a comic book section. Oh my god my inner like my inner kids are Oh, I'm so excited right now. Wow. I didn't even read that many comic books as a kid. I just love it. I'm looking for... <gasps> right about as I'm... Oh my god. Oh no, it's closed. I can't look in it. Okay, let's see what else we have. Justice League, Batman, Superman. Where is Bat... Superman and Batman. Okay, wait, it's definitely, okay. Whoa, that is so cool. I'm obsessed with the flash. Like, the people who draw or illustrate or whatever you wanna call it for the art in comic books make a lot. Like a lot of money. And that's good. Oh, I love the flash. Oh, this just brought my inner kid out. My inner. Wow. Alright. I do think it's time to move on from the comic book, so because I've actually been here for about 20 minutes just looking at that book. I actually do read a lot, like, I read a lot. Probably three books, maybe two books a week. Uh, which comes out to like eight to 10, maybe 12 a month. But I never, only once have I read something poetry wise. So I feel like I should do something poetry wise. We got a Mexican, we got a haiku, which is obviously Japanese. And we have a Greek. Look at the Greek. That's that's piquing my interest the most. <gasps> French! Oh my god, I knew I picked up the right book when it's French. Mother, magnificent in suffering and in glory. Even if your children always live with thought with dream embraced by you. Okay, that is deep. <laughs> Poetry is beautiful. I'm probably gonna say this like 10 times minimum. I love books. I just, I just love them. The more books I've read, the more, regardless of whatever type of book it is, the more it hits me and the more I can absorb whatever is written in it and apply it to my life. Okay, wait, where are we now? Okay, we're in the antique books section. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is about to be so cool. Antique books, here we come. <laughs> Federal tax reports. Okay, this is not an encyclopedia, but it's piquing my interest. Okay, I have to remember where it goes. EC. Is this like a Bible thing? That is the most boring thing I've ever looked at. Ah, let's get out of here. 
This this is like not cool antique books. This is just like <laughs> antique tax records and encyclopedias that no one on earth in their right mind cares about. I actually completely forgot about all that stuff and it's it's like my favorite. Whoa, something just caught my eye. That was interesting. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, one of my favorite things, just in general, in terms of knowledge, is mythology. Whether it's Greek, Roman, Norse, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. American, like Mayan, or all that stuff. I love it. Obviously I have a favorite category and it's Greek mythology. I've been to Greece, it's beautiful. Like, <laughs> I was that kid that read all the Percy Jackson books. And then, obviously, watched the two Percy Jackson movies. And then was super sad when there wasn't a third one. That was me. My old channel art for the beginning of the videos used to be the trident. Absolutely beautiful. There's so much art and just <laughs> photo opportunities up here. It's crazy. I was expecting like art books and I know there's some on the other side, but this is cool. <laughs> this might be my favorite. <laughs> like, look at this. This is so cool. It's kind of like a illusion type of thing. There's actually, there's actually writing on it though. Okay, so we have entered into the labyrinth and it is cool. Really cool. This, this is actually what, like an antique cool bookstore is this. This is so cool. I probably go to a bookstore once every other week. It is really hard to write a book. Really hard. And when I am quite literally surrounded probably by well over a million books, it's just so inspirational to me to make a video. If someone can write a damn book, I can easily make a video. Think about writing a book and it's just a dud and everyone, no one likes it. That is scary. Uh, I guess if you're writing it for yourself though, it's not. I'm going to randomly pick a book because I feel like I've read probably like none of these books because they're all sci-fi related. I'm not huge into sci-fi, I used to be, but I don't remember anything. So let's, let's pick a random one. All right. Let's go. Shed tomorrows. Ah! <laughs> that was a good catch. Yeah, I guess that's what we're eating. <laughs> and the vibe of this entire place is so cool. And each room's ambiance is just crazy. Like, I don't know exactly, but some type of like, dark, I guess. 
and it's got like a bunch of I, I don't ever read this type of stuff or watch it, so I don't know exactly the category. It's just like vampire hell type of stuff. So this place also has a book temple, which is so. I'm gonna say it again. Oh, my mask! So cool! I don't want to shout in a library. Or books, not a library, a bookstore. But just look at this. That's a cool book. <laughs> That's really cool. Millennials. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. <laughs> and it's it's amazing. It's basically a case study of almost every successful and or rich person, like really rich, like a billionaire or close to that and every single commonality they and share. We currently just picked up this book. I've never read it before. How to communicate like a Buddha or like a Buddhist. There's something in it that's it's pretty cool. Right? Something stressful. Don't get stuck in it. There is a dark side of just self-help in general, but especially self-help books and programs that I want to get into. Do not depend on self-help books to tell you what to do with your life. But there's a fine line that I almost crossed between reading for help and knowledge versus reading for dependability. All these books are good, but <laughs> you can only learn so much in so little time. Which brings me to number two. The four hour work week. I'm not going to explain this into too much detail, but it's it's what it says it is. It's a must read. Must, 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 <laughs> must read. The title of this book describes perfectly how I feel about self-help in general. You can read all the stuff about how to actually improve your life, habits to build, morning routines, nightly routines, how to, I don't know, break a social media addiction, but until you actually start doing it and not reading, about it or watching a video about it or listening to it on a podcast it's not going to do anything for you it's just more information all right so kind of the final thing here is there's a bunch of art on the top floor that i was not expecting to see a lady i just met her name's andrea has a really cool mission statement that just like struck me so it just hit my heart essentially it's I view that statement as completely true, and of course our art is extremely cool. After reading someone's mission statement and why they do something, it's kind of cool to actually see their work. The last book recommendation I have, and I've actually never read this, I embrace this philosophy to a certain extent. I don't do it every day, so I'd be lying if I said I did. It's this. It's simple, it's easy, no one wants to do it, even I don't want to do it. Do one thing every day that scares you. I think that's pretty amazing. Well, that's like, that, oh, that's making me so motivated to do something right now that scares me. So that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the last bookstore. My heart is genuinely really happy about it. I, I, I love books so much. Uh, and yeah, um, you know the vibe. I shouldn't even have to say it by now. Stay energized. <laughs> Peace. Skid tool. That's the game.